Hey, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're an automotive technician, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that hopefully help you make more money and be more efficient. And if you're a customer of one of these technicians, you're gonna get an insight into what we do on a daily basis to fix your vehicle. So I hope you enjoy the next video. All right guys, we'll jump right in. So after you've installed the FJDS software and open it up for the first time, I'll tell you there's not a JBox selected. So you'll press OK. You go ahead and select whichever JBox you're gonna use, Bosch for this one for me, and then select underneath it which Bosch, the MVCI. You'll click Save Device, and then go ahead and just select Exit Application after it's saved. You'll open it back up, takes just a second here. Then it'll ask you what type of dealer you are. I'm non-dealer. And then you'll select OK. And it'll start up. From this point, if you're used to using IDS, it looks very similar. So click Obtain License, since we haven't been input, input it yet. And then we'll input our license key that was emailed to us with our activation. It'll go right through after that's inserted. And like I said, it looks just like IDS if you've used, ever used that before. So we'll select New Session. Gives you a couple directions there. You'll want to follow those. Takes 45 seconds. We'll skip through that. So on this particular PCM, uh, they've already switched the one. I was called out for this one to do a used PCM. So I just, they already had the new one plugged in. So we're going to go through and just do a couple cycles of on-off on the key switch as it's trying to communicate with the PCM. I left the key off um, because I do not want it to pull the incorrect VIN for the PCM that was already installed out of the other truck. So since this is a used one and I want it to have the right PCM, I'm just gonna leave the key off and it's gonna force it into asking me a bunch of questions. So we've gotta go through this cycle on and off a couple times. Now, if you put a blank PCM in, you could just leave it there and just cycle the actual key. So we'll collect all others because it's none of those other weird stuff. It's gonna give you a couple bits of information. So I'm gonna select the PCM part number off of the old PCM. And then I'll put the tear tag number in too, uh, mainly just because I have the old PCM. I just didn't feel like making them swap it back out. Then you'll select the model year. And this is an F-250 with a 5.4. Now we'll go ahead and, and uh, it's going to ask for the vents. It would self-populate this if it connected, but since I still have the key off, I'll just manually type in the uh, last bit of the VIN here. And like most, it's just the last eight. So now it's complete, we'll just go to module programming. You'll notice we have module programming and patch functions, and that's all that's there. So we're gonna reprogram this one because it's not blank, it's a used PCM. And this is just letting me know that I'm using 108.1 and that the current calibration is at and that there is a later calibration available. So we'll click yes. And we'll want to follow all the on-screen prompts. Now remember, during this process, uh, it's important just like every other flash we do to have a good clean power supply designed for flashing and reprogramming PCMs. Uh, it gives you some more information here about what to do, what not to do. And it does a little self-test first on the PCM. Anyways, back to normal procedures. You want to make sure that uh, the battery is in good condition, terminals are clean, all loads are off.
and we're going to continue to follow these prompts. There's some more information about low batteries. And then we're going to manually type in the VIN. Now this is the VIN I'm putting in is the actual vehicle that we're installing this used PCM into. Check it. That is the correct VIN. We want to check both the VIN placard on the dash and the door. It asks that the vehicle is equipped with PATS. Looking at the key that came with the truck on the truck that drove here, there is not any chip or anything in it. It's a non-PATS vehicle because it is an F-250. Okay, so we'll cycle the key on. Now PATS is the passive anti-theft system, so no security system on this one. Forgot to mention that. So we'll go ahead and cycle the key on and off a couple times. It makes you do that. Now it'll start the process. I'll skip through all the waiting here. And we'll cycle the key off, skip through that. It's going to make us cycle the key on and off a couple times. All the time it does this, it's just rebooting the PCM. So, so there's configuration settings on this one. So we've got to input some specific information about this truck. So we'll click OK. Axle ratio. So the chip tag on this truck is almost unreadable. So we'll go ahead and log into Oasis here. We'll input the VIN right here. This is Ford's factory. Um, PTS website, put the VIN in, it gives us all the information we need. We can see axle ratio is 3.73. So we'll select that. This truck does have cruise control. This truck has 245-75R17s on it. It is four-wheel drive with, with a low. So we'll select yes. Then we'll go down here and click the tick mark. So it's copying the data over, and then we're going to go through some more key cycles. This is where it goes through and does the PCM reprogramming session again. Ask us a few of the same questions. Going to go ahead and erase the old flash that's on there. I'm not positive why it does this cycle twice. I don't remember it doing this on IDS, but this is my first go with FJDS. Maybe that's how it works. Do some more key cycles. It'll reprogramming. Cycle the key back on. On off a couple times. Getting that carpal tunnel. All these forward key cycling. And then calibration has been loaded and checked. Says that it's good to go. So we'll click OK. It's telling us if we did a 6.0, we got a flash to fix them also. And it gives us the, the date and the part number of the new one. It tells us to start the engine and don't depress the throttle. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, and we'll cycle the engine off. Then back on, again with the key cycling. Now to go ahead and clear all the fault codes, because anytime you've removed the PCM from the network and done stuff to it, all the other modules freak out and set codes. So we'll go through some more key cycles. And that's it. All right, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, you'll probably like this video or even this video. And remember, subscribe, comment below, tell me what you didn't like about it or what kind of videos you'd like to see next, and hit the bell icon. That way you get a notification every time I make a new video, which is almost weekly now. So see you next time.